Editions. It's me again, Sophia J. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure to subscribe. And for all of you, make sure to like if you enjoy this video. Today, we're going to be making a math board game because let's be honest, we all learn better when we're having fun. And board games are fun, especially when you make them yourselves. Let's dive into it. Before we start, let's go over what we need. You will need cardstock or construction paper, pencils or pens, index cards, colored pencils, markers, crayons, or anything you have to color with, and some imagination. Step two is to create a design path. For my design examples, I used a top or another game piece to create circles to make my path. Another thing you can do is you can use cubes and you can draw squares for your path. Or you can just use a writing utensil and draw your own path. And that's what I'm gonna do. Step three is to decorate your design. As you know, all board games have a theme, so you can create a theme for your board game too. You can choose an outer space theme, an underwater theme, or any theme that you like. And also, make sure that you create a game name. Let me show you some examples. One example here is called Candy Kingdom. And as you can tell, this board game is themed by a kingdom that has a bunch of peppermints and candy all over. Another one is the campout game. It's themed with a bunch of camping items. And finally, there's the farm game, which as its name suggests, is theme about farming. And as you can tell, I did put some trouble spaces throughout the board game. Now, I'm going to create a theme, make a name, and start decorating my board game. Step 4. Now it's time to make your game cards. This is where the math comes in. You're going to take your index cards, and depending on what you're working on, you're gonna write some math facts. If you're working on addition, you're gonna put some addition facts on your cards. Maybe you're working on subtraction. Then you wanna put some subs subtraction facts on your cards. Or if you're working on multiplication, put that on your cards. And if you're working on division, put division facts on. Now I'm going to make my cards for my game. Step five is to make an answer key because you want to always be able to make sure that you got the answer right. You should have made around 20 to 30 cards. I make 20 for my game. So on my answer sheet, I labeled them one to 20. So you're also going to number each of your cards one to 20 in one of the corners. So if this is card number one, I got to put the answer to this card on my answer sheet. 
4 plus 5 is 9, so I'm going to write 9 right here. And then I'm going to keep on going. Here are the rules for my game. The rules are the youngest goes first. On your turn, pick up the top card. Then you have one chance to solve the problem. If your answer is correct, you move one space forward. If your answer is incorrect, you do not move. If you land on a trouble space, you lose your turn. And put any solved cards in the bottom of the deck. Please be mindful that these are only suggested. You do not have to use these rules for your board game. Now your board game is all done. Now's the opportunity to finally play your board game with others. Now let's go over what we learned today. We learned that with simple items from home, you can make your own board game. We learned that you can practice any math skill with games, and we learned that we all learn faster and better when we're having tons of fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!